I've got a hot list. I've got five guys I want you to keep the eyes on over the next 12 to 24 months. Meanwhile, game time, long ball time, daily Copic time. How you doing, everybody? I'm Chet Copic, daily Copic, brought to you by my great friends over at Carmichael's, 1052 West Monroe Street, right in the heart of Chicago's West Loop, the place for steaks in Chicago. Try that ribeye, try that Chicago cut, or maybe a big rack of ribs. Meanwhile, all right, number five on my uh, list of individuals that you should have the radar on over the next 12 to 24 months. Carlos Marmel, a very effective relief pitcher, but nevertheless, too many blown saves this year. Could the Cubs trade Carlos Marmel? Absolutely. Let's keep one thing in mind. National League hitters still respect Carlos Marmel, but their knees no longer buckle at the sight of his slider. Yes, there are certain days when Carlos Marmel can be very intimidating. There are certain days when he's Bugs Bunny. Don't be surprised if Carlos Marmel gets dealt by the Cubs during the winter meetings. Number four, I don't want to say this guy has been bad, but he's been the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. He has been the greatest single season baseball disappointment of any individual I can recall during my lifetime in Chicago. I'm talking, of course, about the human strikeout, Adam Dunn. Now, Adam may think, comes game 162, whew, I can take a nice deep cleansing breath my year is over and people will forget about me until the middle of February or early March. Adam, guess again. You're going to be a topic of conversation in Chicago every week during the offseason. People are going to want to know what to expect out of Adam Dunn comes baseball 2012, what you're doing to get ready for baseball 2012, given the fact that you still aren't in baseball condition for 2011. So, Adam, if you think you're going to fall out of the range of the radar screen or the microscope, I got news for you, buddy. Guess again. Number three, there is a young sportscaster over at Channel 7 currently doing weekends. Right now, I have no reason to believe he's not happy. But you know what? He is the son of Tim Weigel. He is very, very good. He is just like the old man. He has escaped the shadow, as far as I'm concerned, of his father, Timmy, a guy who I loved competing against back in the 1980s. I want you to keep your eyes on Rafer Weigel. In my opinion, Rafer is not going to be all that comfortable 12 months from now doing weekends for Channel 7. I can visualize Rafer Weigel winding up with one of the networks, ABC, ESPN, CBS, NBC. Rafer Weigel, right now, you are hot with a capital H. All right, in 2012, he'll be beginning his third year of ownership with the Chicago Cubs. Right now, he's not the most popular guy in the Chicago. And also, if I can mention something else, Tom, it's time to get rid of the Brill Cream. For heaven's sakes, change your hairstyle. Tom Ricketts needs to come up with something that is going to regain the confidence of the Chicago Cub fan base. So far, when people think about Tom Ricketts, what do they think about? $83 premium bleacher tickets. What do they think about? A ball club that's absolutely miserable. Tom, try something different. Think out of the box with your general manager. Think about somebody who's going to put an emphasis on defense, something you rarely, if ever, see at the friendly confines. Tom Ricketts, you own the Chicago Cubs. You know what? Everybody likes to call you the boy toy with this club. It's time to step forward, show Chicago what you're really all about, make a big deal during the offseason. Hey, you got Doe coming off the books, bring in a big bat, don't go after Fielder. You know what? With his legs, he's going to be history in two or three years. Don't pay him anything close to 200 million bucks. But settle on the right general manager. Tom, you own the Chicago Cubs. You are on the radar screen 375 days a year. Last but not least, number one on my list, head over to the United Center. Jay Blunk, Executive Vice President of the Chicago Blackhawks. The time has come for Jay Blunk to have the opportunity to run his own franchise. Who knows, it might be the Hawks. What's to say that John McDonough eventually won't be offered the opportunity to become commissioner of Major League Baseball? And don't tell me John McDonough wouldn't make all the sense in the world as commissioner of Major League Baseball. McDonough has remarkable business savvy, as does Jay Blunk. They are locked at the hip. And what's cool about the relationship is this. With all the respect they have for each other, there still is that level of creative tension between John and Jay that makes for excitement and has made the Blackhawks, once again, an entity in this town that isn't just casual, an entity that is absolutely 212 degrees. Sometime over the next 24 months, Jay Blunk will have to make a big decision. Does he remain with the Chicago Blackhawks or does he take charge of another franchise? You heard it here first. This has been The Daily Copic. Once again, 
Do you want that great steak, that steak you're going to remember six months from now? Stop by Carmichael's, 1052-1052 West Town Monroe Street, and just dig in. It doesn't get any better. I'm Chet Kopic. We'll catch you next time around. So long, everybody.